Okay, hello everybody. Um, Grandalorian here. We're gonna look at this uh, Star Wars Lego set of the Mandalorian's Naboo Starfighter. Now I got this because I wanna build it and use it for a stop animation thing. I wanna make a little short video uh, to go in front of my videos as I make them. So I thought it'd be neat if the Mandalorian or the Grandalorian kind of flew in and um, do it that way. So I thought I would just share uh, the building experience on this set. Uh, looks like you get um, you get the, the Mandalorian in here. We get a little Lego Grogu. We get uh, Peli Mato. She's the mechanic on Tatooine. And a little uh, BD droid. And uh, it looks like it should be a pretty cool build. It's only 412 pieces. Uh, rated for ages 9 and up. So we'll see how how that goes. So I've got the uh, set here, and I'm gonna cut the adhesive on it so I can open it up. And I have a Ziploc bag in case I have to leave this overnight. Don't want the cats to uh, scatter any of the pieces. So let's just see about opening this up. The hard part, can the Grandalorian even open this? Um, where is the opening on this? I guess you're supposed to pull this up maybe? No, not doing it right. All right, no, we're just gonna, there we go. There we go. That's how we open it. How many bags we got in here? One, two, three bags. Three bags of Legos. And this book on how to do it. And so, oh, what's this? What do we got here? Oh, some stickers uh, that must go on somewhere. So we'll save those in the box. And usually these things go in order. So here's bag number one. We'll start with that one. Put these away. And we'll set our Ziploc bag aside for when we need it. And all of our Lego goodness. And I guess they give you this little Lego pry piece that I've never ever used in my life. And... Uh, so that's what we're gonna be building. And it says to take bag one and dump it out, but we're gonna do it a little more carefully than that. Because we don't wanna lose pieces. One thing I can't stand is losing pieces, whether it be Legos or puzzles. So we're just gonna cut that open. And then we are going to gently, gently lay these pieces out and see what we got here. All right, it's a lot of gray bricks different ones. I try and put things together uh, to make it easier to find them. So you got all these angle pieces there. Some uh, some of those longer ones. Uh, these little pieces here. Okay, so I got everything organized and it says the first thing you should do is to assemble the Mandalorian with his dark saber there. And when I look at all these pieces I just organized, all I have are a pair of legs. There's no other body pieces in here. Uh, and that's because there's two number one bags. I only dumped out one. Why don't they label them one, two, and three? I don't know. They're one, one, and one. So I gotta dump this bag out and organize all that, which Makes sense because there's only one of these. So there's probably another one of these in this bag uh, to organize that. So let me dump all that out and organize that. And then I'll be right back. Okay, wait, I'm back. And now I'm really mad because I dumped out bag number, this bag number 1A, I guess we'll call it, or 1B or whatever. And then there's two bags inside that bag. So then I was thinking, well, maybe I'll leave these in these bags until I'm done with this stuff. But no, there's the head for somebody. There's a Lego head. Um, it's the Mandalorian's head, because there's the helmet. And then I bet you, oh, then there's the Darksaber piece right here. And probably something else for him in this bag. So I'm gonna have to open these bags. I'm gonna have a huge bunch of Legos here. Um, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna organize them, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got everything pretty much organized here. Uh, found these matching pieces now that we're missing there. Some of these other 
uh, triangular pieces were now paired up. Uh, I got like one buys and two buys. I tried to just make it so it's gonna be a little bit easier to find everything. And I found all the Mandalorian pieces. So he's got his little jet pack that goes on there. And then his head, which we're not supposed to see his face, but there it is. He's breaking the Mandalorian code already. He's only got one expression on this face. Um, let's see, zoom in on there. You know, sometimes they'll give you like two faces, like one's a gritty determined face and the other one's a happy face or whatever. So this one only has one face. And um, so he put his backpack on, put his head on, stick his legs in and his helmet. And he's ready to go. Now, they also give you two sets of, I just dropped one, uh, two different lightsaber hilts and two different rods for the dark saber. So I, they're just giving you a spare to be nice maybe, or give you one so that you can have it as the dark saber. And then maybe one is just the hilt. And I don't know, I'm just going to stick them together for right now to keep them organized. I'm going to assume I should look at the directions. But uh, the little part with the little ridges, I was going to assume is the upper part. But let's see what the directions say. Uh, directions say, nope, that's the bottom part of the handle. So that's going to go down here. And so we're just going to switch these around. I guess you can do it whichever way you want, but I'm OCD, so it's going to go in here. And so maybe that's a spare one. So I'll set that aside and we'll give one to the Mandalorian. And there's the Mandalorian with his jetpack, with the dark saber, ready for action. We're just gonna focus in on that. Okay, so we'll set him aside. He will watch over the proceedings, judging us all the time. All right, so that's step one.
All right, that's the end of the two number one bags. Uh, there's a few pieces left over that extra lightsaber hilt and a couple other random pieces I'm just going to put in my extra Ziploc bag here so we don't lose them and the cats don't eat them. And we still have one sticker left. Hopefully I didn't miss that somewhere in the directions. Um, so we're going to just set that aside. And now we're going to get out and open bag two and organize it all. And that'll take me a couple minutes. Here we go. Okay, there were two other bags inside bag two, which I dumped out. Got everything organized. And first step is to make, finally, finally we get to Grogu. Very hard to assemble. There he is. Do his arms move? Nope. They're fixed in place. His head's like a little rubberized, too. So, we'll put him over with Mando. Out of the way there. And then this thing, you don't do anything with this thing. It's just a fully formed piece. That's the little droid. And then we make the mechanic. Put her head on. See, she's got two faces. She's got her more serious face. And then she's got her smiley face. So we'll leave her with the smiley face. Because she'll also remember that she is in the movie Elf. She's Buddy's uh, dad's secretary at the uh, at the advertising, at the book, whatever, the book place. And then we we'll put her legs on, but she gets a belt. So put her belt on. And uh, we'll put that part in the back. So we got that. So now we have all our people. Oh, and she gets a wrench because she's a mechanic. So now she can fix things. So we got all our all our peeps over here. All right. Now let's finish this uh, this starfighter. Okay, so it looks like we're done here. Uh, this piece, actually, I had it just sitting in there. It goes up against this because that's his instrument panel for when he's flying the ship. And I'll tell you, if you're like me, you know, there's <laughs> there's a little bit of uh, OCD. It's like, you know, this side doesn't match this side and the engines are a little different from left to right. And that's because this is... You know, he cobbled this back together um, on uh, whatever planet it was, uh, Mos Pelga or whatever, that town on uh, Tatooine. So I guess this just goes in here kind of, supposed to pop in and out. So that, that kind of clicks in there and comes back out somehow. You can figure that out. And uh, we can... I guess if you want to have Mando actually sit in here, do you fit in with his jetpack? Not quite. I think you got to take his jetpack off to get him in here. Let's pop that off. Oh, there goes his head. All right, head on, helmet on. He goes in here. Right, and that closes up, and then Grogu can 
can go in the back. There's a little peg in there for him to sit on. And they're off to have their little adventures. Pretty cool model. Um, you know, I did this over two days in recording it. Made a few mistakes along the way, but uh, overall, pretty fun. I'm very pleased with it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Oh no, it's a Rancor attack. Ellie, get it. Get it. That's it, show your fearsome, your fearsome growl at the Mandalorian. What are you gonna do, Ellie? What are you gonna do? You're gonna walk away. Oh, just gonna sit over there and ignore it. Okay.